It's a dull, murky autumn day and we're spending another morning with the Stamford Ringing Group and as you can see the ground is very saturated after days of heavy rain. The air is filled with loud bird song but it's coming from the digital callers used to attract the birds in. Today the surrounding woods are dark and damp, a few leaves remain but now many of the trees are bare and the many nest boxes await next spring's occupants. This morning we're here early enough to see the first batch of birds brought in, such as this tiny wren and the elusive Chetty's warbler, a bird often heard but seldom seen. And then the first winter thrush of the morning, this is a red wing and is the 10,000th bird to be ringed this year. The group ring a diverse range of species, such as common red start, firecrest, a much rarer cousin of the goldcrest, which can be found in similar habitats, and rare migrants like this yellow-browed warbler. The morning's ringing continues with yet more winter thrushes, these stunning field fare. But there's other species too, like this male blackbird. And as always, all the important information is carefully logged. And here's another member of the thrush family, this time a song thrush, followed by this tree sparrow. As the ringers head out to check the nets for the final time, we watch flocks of field fair and red wing as they visit the surrounding trees and bushes. And then a flock of starlings fly in. It turns out to be a fairly quiet rigging day and the ringers return with just a handful of birds. And the final batch of the day includes this beautiful tree creeper. The final birds of the day also include migrant blackbirds, both male and female, with their dark beaks. The blackbirds that arrive here from the continent tend to be a little larger and more robust. This is a young male, followed by this stunning young male field fan. This beautiful tiny gold crest that weighs less than six grams. And then the final bird of the day, this beautiful male yellow hammer, which is quickly processed before being set free. And once again, thanks to the Stanford Ringers for another excellent morning. And I'll see you next time.